Good day, good evening, good morning, wherever you are. You know, we never know where you are, but then whoever you are, you know wherever you are. If you are in the car, my name is Bongi Tladness, and if you are wherever walking, I am Bongi Tladness, and I'm with a very, very, very great woman. She's a very phenomenal woman. She's a woman of character. She's a woman of substance. But before I can talk to her, I want to I want, I want to ask for forgiveness for, I want to apologize actually, let me just, uh, you know, say it shortly, like very brief. I want to apologize for the inconvenience and the technical problem that we just had. But I have uh, the woman who is so good and great, who is singing traditional music. He's, her name is Maausi. I almost say his name. Why am I doing that? Tell me why am I saying that? But then it's fine. I apologize. How are you, ma'am? Hi, hi, Wangi. How are you? How are you? No, I'm so good. How was your day? I'm, Let me start by saying, I'm, how was your day? Is it possible for me to speak Sitana? No, you have to speak English because like we know you're watched by so many people everywhere all over. Wow. <laughs> but if I'm speaking Sitana, there and there, you'll translate, you'll translate for them, I guess. No, I'll try to do that. Okay. So are you comfortable with your own language? She want to speak Swana. Maybe I will interpret. Well, I should interpret because now she want to be comfortable more. But it's fine. I will interpret. But then how are you? Me okay. Hi, Nyari. Thank you. I'm going to talk to 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 you. So you can speak everyone, whoever they are. So yeah, she's greeting everyone, whoever and whatever and whatever you're doing and wherever you are right now. Yes, but first of all, Maosi, I know that you sing in traditional music and all of that, and people don't know maybe, but then you still want to tell us more about what you do. But then right now, I just want to know the most important thing and the most important question that we always ask every time. Who is Maosi? Maosi ke man, hantle, hantle. <laughs> Mausi ke mwanyana wa Botswana originally from Botswana then she got married 2006 so in 2006 I traveled to South Africa then 2008 I got married here and I started my dancing and singing Botswana while I was still at school primary school there in Botswana on a lady activities that we must uh, it's it, 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 it's a must it's a must or you join a more go primary school so i joined music and traditional activities so that's where i got my talents but then you i heard you say you married but then you didn't talk about the kids <laughs> i am married uh 2008 i got married here in south africa so i have three kids two boys and a one girl Yes. Oh, two boys and one girl. Okay, that's great. And then you that's all you want to tell us about yourself. There's nothing that you left besides the one for the kids because I wanted to remind you a bit because I'm a mother myself. What <laughs> else? What what else you want to you want to tell us about yourself? No, I think I think the answer get like on your questions then I'll touch if kiss a little bit something get a hurry came my wisdom of Botswana when you some South Africa my first I think you ask about yeah. it's all what you said, but then I also want to ask you this one. Uh, is the music the only thing that you do? Yes, I only do music. I'm a business woman doing some part-time things. Like <laughs> if you can say one right now, what is it that you're doing? What else do you do? I do catering. Whoa, you see now. Okay. Yes, I'm a cook. <laughs> oh, you're doing catering or you doing what else? Yes, I do supply some things to the departments, private uh, institutions and all that. That's nice. So we actually wanted to know that. I don't know why you're hiding that because it's a great thing uh, to hear. And you are doing great things. Obviously, it's an inspi inspiration. We're all about inspiring here. So when you're not so telling us all other things that you do on the site, someone is inspired out there and it's like, okay, she's not only Misha, I mean, the musician, she's also doing this and that. And even me already, I'm inspired already by hearing that. And this is an honor to hear that you're not only focusing on music, but you're also doing other things. And that's great to hear. 
So, okay, in music, wh why did you choose traditional music? Oh, you said because you went to school and then you were doing that at school. But then what inspired that from you now when you're older? Because you did it when you were in primary. Then now you're older. What made you to say, you know what, I don't want to be like other people. Let me be myself. What made you think that you want to do that? Let me express myself more when speaking sit down. Okay. Uh, this talent... It's a God-given talent. Okay. So my grandfather, we sing the father to my father. All right. He likes dance and music of Setswana so much. So yeah, no born in talent from myself. Now I didn't know that I got that talent. So yeah, talent from primary because from primary secondary school to senior school. So after senior, my grandfather. So my grandfather, when I got married, the last word that he told me, Samaya Oscar Walata, who be in a local opera, Mino was Oh, okay. So your grandfather that said to you, You are yes. going to get married, yes, it's fine, but then don't forget the Swana music and don't forget to sing it and don't forget yes. to also dance the Swana yes. dance. So he's the one who actually told you that whatever you do, don't forget where you come from, don't forget yes. the Swana music, and don't forget to dance as well. Which is what you're doing right now. You dance and you also sing. And you are still in the traditional uh, channel to sing your traditional music. That's the only sentence that is keeping me on this industry. Wow, that's great. And how is it so far in the industry? Music is pushing, we are pushing every day, as, as it, people can see on my socials that we are, every weekend we are on the road, sometimes during the week we are doing something, so it's something that uh, I think, I'm always saying I'm, I am what God says I am, so this is what I do, this is what I love when I do it, so people just love, how did I so that? Automatically people wow. love what I do, so true. So, Yes, so so kisi dira ka lorato ene ke gona go bona gore batho ba nka mogela ba rata le music even uh, people ba long gore they can't hear my the language they they go with the rhythm so yeah, I see. so that's something so longer sing keep up with you gore i must still push gore batho ba gona gore ba it's just that we can i can't sing in all languages okay that's yes yeah, we can only sing in Setswana and other and the language that we speak in Botswana because Botswana has 39 languages. So, oh. yes, we have so many languages. So I, I just pick there and there sometimes on my albums so that okay, people right. so people can learn more of the languages that, that we speak in Botswana. So what, what basically you're saying is that uh, you're doing what you love. It was, that's what pushes you. And then, you know, sometimes when, a, when you're a person, when you're doing something that you love, it's easy for you to do it and you do it well. So that's, that's what, you, what, what actually pushes you. And that's what in, keep on, keep, keeps on in, inspiring you to continue because you're doing what you love and you've been doing it even a long time ago. So it's easy for you to do it now. So that's the only thing that you know. That's why you are doing it. Mm -hmm. Okay, but then uh, I want to ask, uh, where do you actually sing? Like, what type of invitations you get? Do you get? I have uh, a wedding invitation so much because uh, each and every album of my OC have a wedding song. So that's my, let me say, sixty percent bookings. Oh, great. Okay, right. But then on that note, we want to go to a short break and we'll be coming back. Uh, I'm still with Maousi and my name is Bongi Tletnes and you are here on Clip Not TV in Diaspora where we created to celebrate uh, people with their different achievements. We'll be right back. Hello there. For an African movie? Search no further. Cleveland African Movies TV is here for you. We are dedicated to the acceleration of African films, TV series, documentaries, and lots more. Explore our movies at home or on the go. 
Cleveland Movies is free to watch on Cleveland.com. Don't miss this opportunity. Hurry now. Sign up and subscribe today. From the short break, I'm still with Maousi. Maousi, uh, we are back. My CC, we are back. Uh, yes. I, I'm still continuing with you, and I like what you said. You're inspiring, even to me. But then I want to ask you this one: When you were growing up, right? What was the job that was always in your mind, and why? always uh, that question. Oh, okay. So where you, you, you grew up, there was no clinic. There was nothing to help people. So when, we, when you were younger, you always uh, said you want to be a nurse because of that. And uh, you, you, you just thought that you should do that because people need, need help and people can't be helped when they're sick and all of that. And you just decided, no, I want to be a nurse because I want to help my people in the village. Yes. Wow, I like that. That was good. But then, now, uh, okay, so what, what really changed after that? Oh, is it because you were no longer in your village? What really changed? Environment levels. <laughs> Why it's what I get from primary to secondary and then secondary can be just in a school yeah we my form four and form five. That's where I got uh, exposed to so many things because go to go 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 senior school go 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 a clear picture of what you what want. You want. Yeah, what you want what you what you're passionate about as well. Yes, because, what you're saying. Yes. So primary nancy ki be na secondary ki be na kiwapela, so go senior. Uh, I think worry, my teacher are from the secondary school. They will write on our report or something like that. Or this one knows how to do this and this. So uh, I knew how to play netball. I was a very, very good player of netball. Wow. Then, yeah, they wrote netball and wrote uh, traditional music. So I chose traditional music. So that's where you know, all of the school will roar when I'm on stage. Wow. That's why I'm so and and people will say, Yo, you sing so nice, you sing so beautiful and, and all they they will always praise me. They'll always praise me when we yeah. I must say you also dance well. The dancing part when you dance, even me, I want so uh, your your stuff, like your music, when you are busy on stage, you dance so well. So it, I think that's what was making people to scream when you are saying people used to scream when you when you're dancing. Yes, so yes. Yeah. That's the part. So yeah, you were saying you were you were basically telling us that um, when you were at school, they used to ask people like, okay, what do you want to be? But then they also were selecting according to the way they see you as a person that you're falling to what or what what actually suits you. And then they they ended up showing you that you can dance and you can sing. So that's another thing that suits you. So you chose from that. That's how yeah. you started now choosing to say it means uh, this could work or whatever. So I think that's that's what you're saying right now. Yes, that's what I say. Right? And then, but then, what is the bad thing, like the most bad thing in your life until this far, that you can say the situation that happened before that you can say you'll never forget it, bad or good, or maybe you can say both. What is the best bad bad thing that you can say you'll never forget it that happened in your life, or the most thing that made you happy in your life that that makes you say, you know what, I won't forget that moment. <laughs> Uh, this this the thing that makes me so happy is that uh, you have to start to start somewhere to go somewhere. So when I finished my tertiary, I just, I went to the college to do secretarial course because you know the parents will tell you to go go and do this. You don't have to stay at home. Then I chose a 
secretarial course. Then I finished my course. After that, I went back to singing and dancing traditional music uh, in our community. So, yeah. <laughs> After that, there was no money. And I, during that time, I was not working at all. So I went to Gaborone. Gaborone is a very big city of Botswana, you know. Okay. So I went to Gaborone to visit my brother. Then when I got there, there was nothing to eat, nothing, nothing. So I had to look for a job and to apply for jobs there and there to go and uh, drop our CVs there and there every, every day when we wake up. So every day when I go to, to submit my CVs, I'll go like Billy Billy Hearts here, not worry. At least if I can just uh one hour one it's like one run. One is like one hour, one read, okay? Yes, if I can at least get grab one rent on this ground so that I can buy a Ramaji biscuits. I oh. don't know if you don't you know oh. the Ramaji biscuits. So on my way, I went to Tago there at the town. So I found one of my classmates from primary school. She was working there. She was doing the this ground man work. Okay. Yeah, I got this. I told her that, hey, my friend, I'm looking for a job. And I'm, going, I'm coming here to submit my... Botswana, we call it power. The, the, the ESCOM. Here we call it, we call it ESCOM. ESCOM. Oh, then okay. Botswana, we call it power. So oh, I went okay. to power to Yes, that girl was working there, go power Mary as a ground woman. Oh, okay, all right. So when I got there, she, I, I told her, well, I'm here to submit my CVs and all that. Yo, she, then she told me, oh, this is get my girl. Grab that uh, sweeping hair. Yeah, a broom, yeah? A grab a broom. Get that a traditional broom. Yeah. Get that traditional broom. She, she threw it on me on, and said... Just ah, go on the ah, and, ah. and I was getting one pula ninety-five a day. Mm. So one that's one ninety five in South Africa, but then at least with pula it's it's kinda extra I bet, eh? No, it's not it's, eh, not what, much, right, okay. It was not that much different. I got uh, there, then I worked there for a month. Two months passed, still still looking for a job there and there, no calls, no nothing. You, I was like, I have to go home. So then I got someone that I that was my that was I was dancing and singing with from that uh, the second senior school. Mm -hmm. That's where but that's where I got the job to dance and sing at again on my first group to to to, re to record uh, using the instruments and all that so i got there then we were performing every day but i was not getting anything mm. sometimes i'll get 100 pula sometimes and that 100 pula was staying i was having a room and all that i didn't have money to pay rent i didn't have money i'll always go back home and grab uh, that a uh, five five liter baguette to get rice sugar and pups and all that so that was my moments that I, these moments I will never forget because they taught me a lot. Okay, yeah. yeah. So, so those are, one. sorry? Yeah. I'm saying that's the worst one that you can say it's a, it's a, it's a bad situation that you'll never forget, right? <laughs> I don't think it's bad. That's why I'm taking it as a happy moment because I will never forget those moments because I'm always laughing when I tell people about those moments. <laughs> So they kind of yeah. like they kind of molded you. They kind of made you who you are. They kind of made you stronger. That's what you're saying. Yes, wow. I was. I was always wearing a one one trouser, <laughs> and my younger sister would tell me that now it's getting maroon. It was a black trouser. Then wow. she, she would say, "Now nah, it's getting, it's changing color now." Yeah, but then, okay, before we, we continue, and then we're about to close, but let's just have another short break, and then we'll, we'll get back. We are about to close anyway. Just a few questions left, and then we will now wrap up. But right now, let's just go on a short break. My name is Bongi Tladness. Hello there. Looking for an African movie? Search no further. Cleveland Art African Movies TV is here for you. 
We are dedicated to the acceleration of African films, TV series, documentaries, and lots more. Explore our movies at home or on the go. Cleveland Movies is free to watch on Cleveland.com. Don't miss this opportunity. Hurry now. Sign up and subscribe today. Welcome back. Welcome back. Mm-hmm. It's so exciting here and it's so interesting. We are still with Maousi and she's telling us a lot about uh, her journey. How did she get here and uh, you know what happened before and the good and bad moments. Yeah, I, I believe you you're watching and uh, I hope you are getting inspired. My name is Bongi Gladness and uh, you are with Cliff Not TV in Diaspora where we are created to celebrate uh, people with their different achievements and also appreciate whatever they're doing with uh, their different um, careers, you know? So yeah, so we're having Maousi. Maousi, I want to ask you this question yes, since we're back. We are back and I want to ask you this question. What, what's your take on GB violent? Like, um, is it GBV? What, what is your take on uh, gender-based b- violence as we are seeing it everywhere? How is it actually even also in, this, in, in Botswana? Because I know it's still your home and you are hearing a lot that is happening that side. What, what is, what's your take on that? I think hey, this thing yeah, is going far now. And it's just that it's now on social medias and TV and all that, this thing is from far. Mm. But because our parents used to fight, used to do this on, in front of us, not thinking about myself. Yeah, other people, <laughs> of course, understand. Yeah. Then, I think I'm going to talk about the interview. So, I'm going to talk about the interview. I'm going to talk about itse gore bara ba ga go ba go tshela the way o tshelang ka teng le mosadi wa ga go mola peng so those the, the younger ones they learn so fast ba khona go bo gore gore le ha motho a rata na le boyfriend the boyfriend ya ga go isa metse ga file ga file that love yes o batla e o file gore boyfriend e tsantse gore e metse gore a showe gore ke gona ka marata but I, I think this thing is from far ke hala gore mola government ya rona ke wena tsontse gore ba bona gore ba tsa ditshotso tsa gore because i don't think they, they are strictly mo go yone mo ka ka di ka 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 justice i don't think justice ya bone is fair a ba ga ba ga ba strong mo go mo mo se ba se buang they are not uh, consistent on what they want to do about this they will always keep on o tla bo roa ko police station a go report then policeman will say just go back home then and discuss it first at home what's that with family imagine when you're talking about yeah. something that you that you were done and they were just saying uh go and discuss with family and whatnot yeah. know? And they can especially, especially you. that one that you were saying is especially mm. when when that that act was done by a family member so they will say go discuss with family yeah. whatever yeah. wow or even a boyfriend Oh, even your boyfriend, okay? Oh, it's yeah, even a boyfriend. I think our boyfriends are known in our homes. Yeah, so we, we, yes, and we, so we do know each other's families. Then we, we'll, they will say no. Cover like Johnny and go highly. Then discuss this at home. Then next time you are dead because of that. Yeah. So I, th- I think Molawar not on tour or hatelele. Obey Molawar or Hamotwa dirle this. You must do this. What about the shoot to kill? And by dear. Oh my goodness. Right. Hello. By by dear, I should to kill Mary. Mo 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 gender based violence. Have I not got a stable things in our city? In our house. But to buy it, so I have to deal with this. So I have to. So because we have to receive down to our from our government, or they must take action and very fast. So justice system must actually change and stop uh, always saying it, go discuss with family because you know each other. We don't want to interfere. 
go talk to 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 to, to family families let them discuss let let them solve it uh, amongst yourselves and all of that so that's what you say you say you know it's a problem because now the justice is not helping us like justice has never been served uh, always it's always that uh, go help go talk to your family go discuss it go hold a meeting and then you discuss it all together so it means it's not helping it's not taking us anywhere that's what you're saying or they will they will tell you that we will we'll make you a protection order wow protection order yo and people not don't, don't always respect the protection order right yeah. mm. yeah, i see what you mean because there would some people would even say uh i came i did whatever so take me let me see and some would even say protection protection order how yeah, is just that it's just a paper paper Mm. and then you start behaving all nasty i can imagine so it's happening everywhere right even even in, in botswana you are saying yeah, it's happening everywhere even in botswana mm. so yeah mm. but then, hey uh, you know i'm i'm very grateful to be having you here on clevna tv in diaspora we are on it i'm on it as bongi gladness i want to tell you i had fun with you but first of all okay before we close let me just say that before we close can you tell us it's festive now you know we are about to be in december festive and you know things are happening and uh, people are there and they especially you musicians where are you going to be do you have any invites and tell us about that and how can people get hold of you like to invite you and to book you and all of that you this festival have so many festivals that i must attend so oh, okay. i'm just crossing my fingers that i can catch uh, we must catch time everywhere we are booked so it's festival uh -huh. after festival after festival we have three bookings in a day two bookings in a day four bookings in a day oh, no. so So, that, so are you coping there? Do you think you're going to cope that? Uh because some people get also exhausted. Uh, do, do you think you're going to get exhausted? I only get exhausted when I'm at home. Why I don't know. <laughs> Why I don't know. It's because you're doing what you love. I do understand. When you're doing what you love, you can only be exhausted after doing it. Then you want to sleep with the baby and all of that. I want even I want, I want even eat when I'm I'm on my own that spirit. Oh wow. Mm. This really is something that you love. Eh, but if I can't remember, I'll do my Facebook page. I'll name my Twitter at my Aussi Lekoma, Instagram at my Aussi, a YouTube channel my Aussi Lekoma, a my WhatsApp, my WhatsApp number, which by the way, but I'm more than more than kiki yaraba on time. It's zero seven eight double eight zero nine. Three six zero. I'm I'm actually one of those people who are saying that that you really never answered your WhatsApp number. But hey, let's leave that. And thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for coming. We are so honored. I hope people go and attend all your events, this festival, and have fun and get entertained by you. And I want to say to you, you're doing a great job. May you be blessed and get it all, uh, you know, greater than you are doing right now. And uh, from me, Bogit Letness, it's a good night and good bye from all the people wherever you're listening from or watching from. And my Aussie also is saying goodbye. I know you're saying that, right, to everybody. And she's blowing kisses right now, and she's saying it's a wrap and goodbye to all of you. My name is Bogit Letness, and you are on Clevnor TV in Diaspora. We'll see you very soon next time. Oh. <laughs>